Hey guys, thank you so much for coming on. Welcome to vlog day number 66. So today is a very rainy day. Nonetheless, I'm going to guess where? The Samurai Museum in Shinjuku. This should be epic. So stay tuned for that. So it's raining and it's chilly and uh, I'm trying to find the Samurai Museum. I know I'm close, I'm probably like five minutes. Since it's raining, it might take me like 10 minutes to get there, but uh, we're very close. Can't wait to see it. As I said, guys, cold and chilly, cold and chilly. There's umbrellas everywhere and um, the place is just wet and crazy right now. You want to get something else with that, or? And, um, and I think that's it. So I ordered something, and I thought it was actually, I thought it was actually soup, but it's not what I thought it was. I thought it was ramen, but guys, check this out. Yeah, so this is it. Some soba stuff. So what I'm gonna do is which is probably super bad. I'm gonna pour this in this thing. So I'm doing, I just pour my, poured my miso soup in this. Yeah, well, probably shouldn't have done that. You should have tasted it first. No, it's okay. I'm fine. Anyway guys, we're gonna have this and then I'm gonna go out to the museum. We're not that far away, so yeah. Gotta get some food first. Let's go. It's raining. Do you guys remember the episode that I did uh, when I was walking on the street close by the robot muse uh, robot restaurant and I got stopped by that guy? The Samurai Museum is within like the same area, so I'm walking just now and I've already been stopped twice uh, and pretty much was asked the same thing. So I guess this area is known for that sort of thing. And the guy said it's so casual. He's like, "Oh, do you want?" Uh, and then another guy stopped me and he showed me the place. I'm like, oh my gosh, they actually have it being advertised like at the front. Crazy stuff. <laughs> the time of the samurai was about 700 years spanning from the Kamakura to the Edo era. Samurai were the military nobility and officer caste of medieval and early modern Japan. So guys, I thought this was actually an authentic helmet, but it's not. It's a reproduction. That's why I'm wearing it. But nonetheless, I'm pretty sure I look cool, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. First black samurai. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, a real life samurai. <laughs> this this helmet is really heavy. <laughs> It's pretty cool. It's probably, I don't know, five kilograms? Six? No, three or four. Oh, okay. Okay, so cool. Guys, I would so love to film what I'm not permitted. So, mm. I hope the pictures will suffice. My apologies. I'm going to try to talk to the owner. Or maybe someone else will and convince him. And I'll come back another time. Who knows? Okay. 
Guys, you see what's going on here? Yeah. Right. Well, what's this called that I'm putting on? This is we call like some kind of hakama. Hakama. Mm. Well, what is hakama? It, 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 you can put on the inside of armor. Ah, I see, I see. And then you strip. Like pajama. Oh, pi like pajama. Okay, I see. So I'm, I'm wearing a, a samurai pajama, guys. That's what they sleep in. I know. Is it what they sleep in? <laughs> yeah. Yeah? They sleep in this? <laughs> okay, okay. And then you can, put, you can choose the helmet. Oh, let me try this red one. Even though that one looks cooler. Let me try that cool one. Right. Gotta go for the cool stuff, guys. The cool stuff, okay? Alright, oh, here we are. And then you can hold on the sword, too. Maybe we need to take off these glasses. Okay, someone doesn't have glasses. Yeah, you know. Is this a replica as well? Yeah. Okay, guys. So it's a, it's a replica. Um. So move it. Yeah. Okay. Now I guess that's how you do it. I need to take that sword class. They have a sword class here. Um. I think it's like what five thousand n or something. I need to take it right. <laughs> okay. That's it. That's all I put on. Yeah. Oh man. Like if I'm trying to turn to get my enemy, like the way my head would move so slow, it's so heavy. I'd be dead in two seconds. Like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was demoted very fast, guys. I was somewhere for like two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> but it takes 20 minutes to put on the real armor. Ah, I see, I see. <laughs> right, thanks for that, man. Thanks, Jeff. So, guys, Jeff was a cameraman, and Carol, she was also the camera woman earlier on. And <laughs> Yuki. Yuki is a tour guide, awesome tour guide. The first types of Japanese armors identified as samurai armor were known as yoroi. These early samurai armors were made from small individual scales known as kozane. The kozane were made from either iron or leather and were bound together into small strips. The strips were coated with lacquer to protect the kozane from water. A series of strips of kozane were then laced together with silk or leather lace and formed into a complete chest armor or do. A complete set of the yoroi weighed 66 pounds. This helmet was worn by lower ranking samurais and served a dual purpose. It was also used as a form of bowl to eat out of. The Portuguese brought the first guns to Japan in the 1540s. As a result, shortly thereafter, the swordsmiths started making guns, so the samurais ended up using guns as a form of weapon during their battles. This was toward the end of the Muromachi period, close to 1573. Later, Japan created rapid-fire guns and developed cannons. There is a theory that Japan was the world's greatest gun-possessing country at one time. The helmet or kabuto was an important part of the samurai's armor. It was paired with a shikoro and fukugaishi for protection of the head and neck. Samurai armor changed and developed as the methods of samurai warfare changed over the centuries. This is a short blade called tanto and it's used by the samurai to perform seppuki. Seppuki is a form of Japanese ritual suicide by disembowelment. The inner white portion of this sword is wrapped with shark skin and that's not uncommon for samurai swords. This sword that's on display at the Samurai Museum is about 800 years old. Swords usually have the maker's name etched on the bottom portion of the blade, as you can see here. This is a portrait of Miyamoto Musashi, who was known as the most gifted with a sword. He wielded two swords, and he was also rumored to be able to take down 70 men at once using his swords. This sword here was made by Musashi's assistant. If you look at the handle of the sword, you can see two flies. This was because Musashi was known to be able to catch flies using chopsticks.
In the 1500s, a new type of armor started to become popular due to the advent of firearms, new fighting tactics and the need for additional protection. The Kozane Do, made from individual scales, was replaced by plate armor. This new armor, which used iron-plated Do, was referred to as Tozei Gusoku, or Modern Armor. So guys, that was it. Unfortunately, I was not permitted to film on the inside, but nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoy the pictures that I just showcased. We're going to check this restaurant out. So guys, check out the lineup. So we're at Sudoton Ton, and they specialize in? Udon. Udon. They specialize in Udon, so yeah, I'm gonna maybe try it if this line don't take forever <laughs> and, and unlike other uh, traditional Japanese udon place it's more like a cocktail bar ah. yeah you can order drinks relax and they do have live band playing like jazz music jazz or? music yeah from maybe 7 to 10 ish okay yeah. okay cool uh, it's, it's a really so the ambiance is pretty good inside there yeah oh nice guys check out the menu like it's so massive they got sushi, they got yeah, udon. So this place is actually, they specialize in udons here. Uh, Jeff introduced us to this place and I'm about to try it uh, to see if I like something on their menu. So let's see. Thank you. Guys, check this out. My udon, the bowl, look, check. This is my hand, right? The bowl is like really massive. And here comes Carol's as well. The presentation is just on another level. <laughs> Guys, this bowl is massive. Like, I don't even understand if, if the video is showing you guys just how big this is. Guys, it's like a bucket. <laughs> guys, check the spoon. Guys, check the spoon out. Do y'all see the spoon? I think you guys can see how big this is. Like, <laughs> like, like ch check out what <laughs> Carl's thing, guys. That's how big it is. Oh it's my so gosh! Guys, everything here is so huge. The spoon is large. The bowl is large. The noodles is large. Like everything is just like so humongous. could not finish my bowl, my bucket of udon, but the, it was really, really good. Like, and the beef was amazing. The duck meat was spectacular. Really, really liked it. And the price, and the price, guys, wasn't even that much. I think it was like uh, $11, like 11 bucks. Good stuff. I recommend this restaurant. Not sure of the name again, gotta double check. Guys, check out this tree. It's like a Christmas tree that's Halloween themed. Super odd, like only in Japan. Guys, thank you so much for coming on. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button. And if you haven't already, Feel free to subscribe to my channel for daily videos from Tokyo. See you guys tomorrow. Kiss kate.